Many of you guys have built a pair of my small sealed speakers and I've had many emails from you guys saying, wow, I can really hear the mid frequencies now. My mixes are translating way better. Thanks, it's so great. But I've had a lot of feedback saying, yeah, they're great, but I can't hear any sub frequencies at all. You just can't use them for electronic music and stuff like that. So I intended to build matching subwoofers that were perfectly paired with these speakers so that we could hear a more full range sound and you could turn them on and off. So that's exactly what I did. So here's the prototype. You can also see I was using this as a two-way design and it's got the switch on it so you can turn the sub on and off. And it's very simple. It's just got one passive component inside to low pass filter it. So we just get the sub frequencies out of this. But I thought whilst I'm building an enclosure anyway, we might as well be able to upgrade this and make, as you can see, the two way design or even a three way design. So I made a couple of other designs as well. And this is my recommended design where you can upgrade the subwoofer and make a three way speaker. It's got the same woofer as we're using for the subwoofer and it's got the same mid dome that we're using for the small speaker. It's exactly the same one. And then you just add a tweeter to it and now we have a three-way design. Now, unlike most of the internet and especially the hi-fi community, I'm not just gonna come on here and say, trust me, bro, they sound amazing and use a whole bunch of marketing adjectives to hype up the sound saying they sound warm and revealing and immaculate and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't care about that. I just care about actual objective fact. So the objective way is to simply record the speakers and compare them to a benchmark. We need a benchmark because we don't know what is the speaker and what is the room interaction because I'm gonna record them on the meter bridge position again of my studio desk and you're gonna get comb filtering, you're gonna get room interaction. And so you need a benchmark. What is the benchmark? This is the benchmark, the Neumann KH310. This is the industry standard sealed three-way speaker. These are four grand a pair. And in my opinion, that is worth it. If you don't wanna DIY it and you just wanna go out and buy something, well, this is an exceptional speaker and four grand isn't all that expensive in the speaker world, it can go much higher than that. And before it was Neumann, it was Clan Hummel because that was the original manufacturer, but then Neumann bought that company at some point and then they rebranded them to be their speakers, but they were originally designed by Clan Hummel and they're the absolute industry standard. I think these are definitely worth the money. These are sealed. These are extremely accurate. These are very high quality speakers. However, they do cost four grand. These are about 400 quid or something. So we need to know, A, are you up for building these? And B, do they sound any good? Because if the answer to those two questions is no, then I highly recommend buying a pair of these because these are legit and everything else on the market with base reflex ports and stuff below multiple thousands of dollars is just a bunch of nonsense. So the way that I'm raving about these speakers, you might think that this is some kind of sponsored video. Well, Neumann were actually kind enough to send me these speakers, but they're just a demo pair. I didn't get paid any money and they've got to go back. So I didn't get anything at all from Neumann apart from the opportunity to make this video and compare these speakers to my speakers. Now, if you're scared of cutting a piece of wood or you don't think the speakers that I made sound good or you're rich and you just wanna buy a pair of speakers, and as I say, these speakers are incredibly good. They're the industry standard and they are expensive, but they're kind of worth it because you've got to pay for nice stuff. Sometimes you've got to pay for nice stuff and transducers are the most important thing in your setup that make all the difference. I recommend these way higher than all of the base reflex port nonsense that is on the market. These are legit, but they're four grand. Can we build a pair of these for something more like 400 quid and have equally good results. So that's what we're gonna test in this video. So you might have noticed that the Neumann speakers have a mid dome and not a mid cone. Well, I built another version with a mid dome and we can test those as well. But truth be told, these sound best with a DSP based amplifier approach. The Neumanns are an active design. So they have EQ and everything baked into them. Whereas on our speakers, we're just gonna power them with the Fossey Audio ZA3 amplifier that I've already recommended for the small speakers. So they're passive, so we're gonna design a passive crossover. I'll show you what that looks like now. 
Now, this is one of the passive crossovers that I show you how to make in the course. Now, I'll go through what all of the components are, how they fit together, why you need these components, the theory behind it, the DIY footage, how to solder it up, how to do all this. I'll go through all of that in the course for the three ways. However, it's worth noting for this sound comparison video that a passive crossover is a bit more rudimentary compared with what you can do in an active design like the Neumann. And that's got EQ in it and all sorts of things that we can't do just with a passive crossover. So if you want a more complex crossover with EQ and everything baked into it, then you need to grab something like this, a pair of the Hypex FA123 plate amplifiers and a pair of these cost like a grand. So by the time you've bought all the parts and you need the more expensive drivers to make the three way with the mid dome and do all this, you're spending two grand or something on a pair of these speakers. So I don't really know if there's a market for making a DSP based uh, design with these speakers. I can do that in a subsequent video, but for this video, I just wanna keep it completely passive using the Fossey Audio ZA3 amplifier that I've already recommended on this channel. And so all of them are just completely passive. And so it's kind of unfair because it's the Neumann speaker, which is way more expensive and has an active design and EQ and everything in there. So they've obviously got a low shelf uh, boost EQ to make the, the bass deeper, lower bass out of the Neumann speakers. Whereas our passive ones, we don't have any EQ there at all. It's just a passive uh, crossover. It's a second order passive crossover. So it's a bit unfair in our disadvantage. So if our passive speakers sound anywhere near as good as the Neumanns, that's a very good feat as indeed for 400 quid with a passive design second order crossover with the Fossey Audio Amp. So we're gonna test that right now. If you're interested though, in how we can make these speakers sound with uh, the Hypex play amps like I use in my mastering speaker course, but as I say, they were grand a pair. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments down below and I, I can make more content uh, using that. But in this video, we're just gonna do the passive versions. So we're gonna listen to a bunch of music. And again, this is real music, some decent tracks in here. And so every time I make these videos, it gets completely copyright claims and I don't make any money from the AdSense, but it's worth it if I'm gonna lose a few hundred quid because I wanna put decent music in there and not just use some generic audio library music. We wanna listen to music that we actually like. And uh, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of different stuff in here from Converge to Deftones to FK Twigs, all sorts of stuff here and yeah so let's listen and let me know down below what speakers you think sound the best uh, you, you might think that they sound the, the same or very close those ones and i was extremely impressed with how good the small speakers sound when paired with the the subs they sound great considering it's just two drivers so have a listen and let me know what your favorite ones were if you're going to build any of these what you think about all of this let me know down in the comments
the pump and never stay low, try. Pound when they see me jump out to the right. Sat and out of space when we send boy. Cause we love to see the girl in wine. When party, I keep my dogs and I bring baby nine. Girl, I'm moving them waistline. Weed lights up, and it gets bust. Shops have to run tequila, can't run. My driver don't drink, so you know what I'm going for the night. Press gas on the M-way, pull up to the gate fast. Vines have to go and save time from autumn, summer. Bouncy like rubber, need banners round me. Every blood club night. Yeah, banners round me. Only banners round me. Yeah, banners round me. Every blood club night. Badders round me, badders round me, only badders round me, yeah, wild for the night. Badders round me, only badders round me, yeah, badders round me, every blood clot night. Badders round me, badders round me, only badders round me, yeah, wild for the night. Privilegiados têm ouvido igual ao seu Eu possuo apenas o que Deus me deu Se você insiste em classificar Meu comportamento diante musical Eu mesmo mentindo devo argumentar é bossa nova que isto é muito natural o que você não sabe nem sequer presente Place like that. 